and welcome to our presentation of Buhi Supply Company's social media plan. Today you'll be hearing from myself, Avery Gass, Delaney, and Tink from the Portland Media Agency. So for our agenda today, we will start with the overview and go on to the SWOT analysis, and we will talk about our objectives and goals, and then we will discuss our strategy and budget. Our marketing firm, Portland Media Agency, has developed an integrated marketing plan uh, for Bowie Supply Co. that focuses on social media marketing. Uh, to increase sales, revenue, and conversions, we have developed a social media strategy that includes organic posts, paid posts, and uh, an influencer campaign. So a brief overview. Um, first, we decided to focus on the current social media presence that Bowie has. They're currently on all social media platforms, um, and so we did base our campaign on that. Um, we looked at competitors. We consider current goals, which is to promote OG, the OG line at Bowie because there have been a decline in sales in the last few years. Their current strategy, their target market as well. Um, they focus on five buyer personas, but for our campaign, we've decided to focus on one target audience. Uh, now we will be presenting our SWOT analysis for Bowie, uh, which will give you a more in-depth uh, understanding of the company. Starting with the strengths, we have very durable products. They all have stylish designs, so there's a lot of styles that our customers can choose from. We do have a lot of uh, variety in our products, from backpacks to totes to duffels to luggages, and our content that we make are geared towards the audience, um, for uh, a majority of the audience, and we do focus on providing great and excellent customer service, and we are very responsive. Some of our weaknesses include unsuccessful influencer programs because we had a small budget. Our website is hard to navigate around because we often get questions from our customers about how to find products. And our products are only online and not in stores, so that will become a problem. We also don't outwardly share whether our brand is vegan, cruelty-free, or eco-friendly. And these are things that our customers care about. There's also a lack of credibility, awareness, and publicity in our brand compared to our competitors. Some of the opportunities that we identified was an opportunity to grow the influencer program through working with macro and micro influencers. Um, obviously, due to the small budget in the past, they've been unsuccessful, but there is still a great opportunity there as influencer marketing is very lucrative. Um, we also have the opportunity to promote an ambassador program for influencers and for loyal customers. Um, we have the opportunity to expand the product line to include additional items, including outdoor apparel like competitors. We can collaborate with nature and hiking companies to create new content and new products, limited edition designs, things like that, pairing with National Geographic or national slash state parks. We also have the opportunity to utilize social media platforms like Pinterest and Instagram to capitalize on online trends that Boohee's target audience enjoys. Some of the threats that we identified is the fact that Boohee is in a very highly competitive market, and a lot of their competitors do have a better social media presence. There are also more well-known brands like L.L. Bean with loyal customer base, and it's hard to convert those customers into Boohee customers. Similar styles are also sold for less money on sites like Amazon and Shein, so people who are looking for affordable options will look there first in the current economic recession. Uh, we developed a target audience uh, based on the five buyer personas that Bowie provided to us. Uh, this target audience that we have chosen uh, will focus on consumers age 22 to 32. Uh, their median income is 35000 to 55000 uh, They live and work in urban areas uh, or suburban. Uh, they enjoy hiking, camping, traveling, photography. Uh, they uh, live an active lifestyle. Uh, their health is a priority, so they exercise regularly. Um, 
So we did come up with a few objectives for this campaign. The first is a promotional objective, which is to drive the consideration that Buhi's OG line products are high quality and affordable. Our sales objective is to increase the sales of Buhi's OG line by 8% by the end of this campaign, which will end in October of 2023. So moving on to our strategy, we have created a strategy statement. So we want older Gen Z and young millennial consumers that live active lifestyles who need bags that are professional for work, but functional for outdoor activities to think these products are stylish, durable, and affordable through creating engaging content and working with relevant influencers to make them feel like they don't have to sacrifice style or quality for a bag that fits their lifestyle. Uh, we have chosen to do a fall campaign. This campaign will run from September 1st, 2023 until October 31st, 2023. Uh, the platforms we have chosen are Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. Uh, this is because these platforms have historically been the most successful for Bowie in terms of reach, engagement, and conversions. Uh, we will use this data and the data on the following two slides. Uh, to schedule our organic posts. For Instagram organic posts, we will include pictures of people using our products and the background will include nature, outdoor and travel themes. And we will keep the character count of the caption at around 120 characters. And we will also use hashtags. Uh, for Facebook organic content, we will focus on high quality images uh, that feature people using Bowie products as these photos have historically performed the best. Uh, we will uh, focus our character count uh, to be 40 to 80 characters. Uh, again, this has historically been the most successful. For Pinterest, we will also be using high quality images with showing people using Bowie's products. We will, be, we will be using keywords in the description for our Pinterest pins in order for them to be more searchable on the platform. The more keywords that we use, the easier it is for people to find Bowie's content. And the metrics we will use for organic strategy includes brand awareness and engagement. So for brand awareness, we'll look at impressions, page likes, and reach. And for engagement, we'll look at clicks, reactions, comments, and shares. So for our sponsored Instagram posts, it'll be similar to our organic Instagram posts. And each of them will include a model um, with a beautiful background. And these images will be in high quality as well. Uh, on Facebook, we will focus um, our ads uh, on photo, video, and collections. Uh, the collections um, are very fitting for this campaign because they allow us to promote the entire OG line with one post. Uh, another great uh, feature of Facebook ads is that uh, Facebook allows you to target consumers based on interest and demographics. For Pinterest, we'll be using similar high quality images for the sponsored posts as we do in the organic posts in order to establish a strong brand identity for consumers to recognize. We will include call to actions in the titles of all of the ads, and we will be using the standard video and shopping ad format on Pinterest to promote our content. For paid strategy, we are going to be focusing on the metrics around revenue, um, this would include the click-through rate, the conversion rate of people who are clicking on the site to those who are completing the purchase, the cost per click, post-click actions, which is what people are doing after they click on the ad, where they're going, the pages that they land on, the return on ad spend to see how much revenue we are generating based off of how much we're spending, and the cost of each sale. The influencer we selected is Jess and her pictures and styles are similar to uh, what we post. She has followers uh, that are similar to our followers. So an uh, example of a giveaway post is on the left picture and an example of the branded content post is on the right picture. We plan to use the same influencer for the influencer posts on Facebook. Here we will include giveaway posts that we will also be promoting on Instagram, 
branded content as well as affiliate links on Facebook. People are able to add links and links are clickable on Facebook compared to Instagram. And so it's best to utilize affiliate links on this platform. Uh, for our influencer, influencer strategy metrics, uh, we will focus on uh, measuring revenue and engagement. Uh, our revenue metrics include click-through rate, which is what percent of influencer affiliate links were clicked on, uh, conversion rate, cost per click, uh, post-click actions, which again is a measurement of everything that happens directly after a person clicks on an ad, uh, return on ad spend, uh, which looks at the gross revenue generated by the influencer campaign. Uh, this is calculated by uh, revenue divided by advertising costs, uh, lead generation, and cost per sale. Uh, for engagement, we will be looking at clicks, reactions and comments, and shares. So moving on to our budget, we will be spending $100,000 for this entire campaign, and it costs $8,000 for organic strategy. So each photo is $100 on average, and we will be posting 10 photos per week across three platforms for eight weeks straight. And for our advertising strategy, it will cost a total of $61,280. Uh, we will be reusing 10 photos from um, the organic strategy media, and we will be uh, creating 10 new photos uh, for eight weeks straight. And each video will average $2,250, and we will be posting one video per week. So for each ad to go up, it will cost $30 per day. Um, and our influencer strategy will cost $30,720, $30,720, and our giveaway will uh, cost $10,000, um, including like the products and shippings, and there'll be four total giveaways, and each of them will run for two weeks, and uh, the influencer will cost uh, $8,000 for um all eight weeks, so uh, $1,000 for each giveaway post. And our brand and content will be $10,000, uh, around $10,000, and um, same with the affiliate links for influencer. Uh, to further break down the budget, uh, we will be spending $34,000 on media. Uh, this means uh, the photography, uh, the organic paid uh, content. Uh, for paid posts, we will be spending $35,280. Uh, for the influencer giveaways, we will be contributing $2,000 uh, worth of products. Uh, for the uh, influencer salary for branded and giveaway content, uh, that will total $18,360. Um, and the influencer salary for affiliate content will be $10,360. That is the end of our presentation. We thank you for the time for letting us present and hope that the information that we presented here will be helpful towards Buhi's overall success and to help promote the OG line. Here are the resources that we used.